And then Mark goes flying around the city and sees that there's this weird portal with green alien soldiers coming out of it and just shooting everything. So he decides to check it out, obviously. They're called the Flaxons. And here we are introduced to the members of Teen Team. So Adam Eve, Robot, Rexplode, and Duplicate. And this first fight with the Flaxons is fine. Compared to all the other fights in the season, it's not that engaging or interesting, but seeing their different abilities is great. And this fight mostly functions as an introduction to these four anyways. And Mark tries to help, but he's not really prepared and doesn't have the necessary experience. So he tries to help an old lady to get her to the GDA hospital. Going back to the fight between Teen Team and the Flaxons, I think it's super contrived that at the exact moment when they are about to kill all four of them, they start aging like crazy and leave instantly. If the Flaxons only had half a minute more, they would have destroyed all of them. And to me personally, this part also wasn't all that tension-filled or suspenseful, because it was fairly obvious that these characters wouldn't be killed by these stupid green goblin guys. And the explanation they give for this is that time on Earth passes way faster compared to their planet, which means that they only can exist on Earth for a very short time frame, or else they will just all age to nothing. Oxidized and corroded. For an alloy like this, that should take years. Time runs faster wherever they come from. They ran off because, because they, they were, were dying of old age. I don't think that checks out in terms of rules of space-time. Because how is only their age affected by that? Also, the fact that they suddenly just start to grow old and fall unconscious just like that, without any hint of them aging before that point, is kinda stupid. I mean, I don't know how these aliens age. Maybe they are perfectly fit and don't age at all until they hit like 80 and then they immediately fall apart. I guess that could be the case. Otherwise, that would be pretty dumb. And even in that case, it would be pretty stupid. And then, two days later, these fucking Flaxons attack the city again, at the exact same spot as before. And this is pretty ridiculous. During the first attack, over 300 citizens were killed. Do you know how many people died here yesterday? 338. 338! I find it a bit ridiculous that the GDA, or anyone else, didn't make sure to secure the area and close off this part of the city entirely. It's two days later, and there are already cars on the streets and people walking around. Are these people the biggest idiots on Earth? Two days after a tragic, giant alien attack, they just decide to go out again? And to the exact spot where all these people died? You can't tell me that isn't incredibly stupid. Plus, how is no other superhero team helping them out? They are only five, and these fuckers are responsible for hundreds of dead civilians. I really can't get behind that. Maybe they're all busy fighting other threats? No idea. And these dudes again start blowing up citizens, buildings and cars. And the teen team plus Mark start fighting them. And this time, all of them are wearing an Apple Watch that somehow stops their rapid aging while they're on Earth. <laughs> the wristbands protect them from our time stream. Destroy their wristbands. What? Okay. The second fight also isn't that great. The only real difference is that Mark is now fighting with them, and the Flaxons have more tanks and bigger laser guns and shit. And again, Teen Team is almost going to die, but then Mark gets some Viltrumite adrenaline rush and destroys them and their Apple Watches together with Teen Team. So the Flaxons flee again through their portal. It's pretty much the exact same way the first fight went two days ago. 
And then we get a third fucking attack of the Flaxons. And again, why in the absolute heck are there still people walking around and cars on the streets? And Robot also predicts that the city will be lost, so he suggests to fucking nuke it. And they've rendered themselves immune to our time stream. We should consider the city lost. I will contact Cecil and suggest a nuclear response. What? No! Dude, if anyone actually cared about preparing for another attack that was obviously going to happen, you could have easily just done some precautions to minimize collateral damage. What was everyone doing? Did no one care about these alien green guys that tried to invade Earth two times in like four days? This is ridiculous. And the Flaxons are just the worst villains slash threat in the entire season. They have no character, they're extremely boring, and they give me very strong Attack of the Clone vibes. And their action scenes also do not offer a lot of great fighting animations, because they're just a bunch of goons running around with laser guns. So Teen Teen jumps in to fight the army of Flaxons, but they get wrecked. And again, Mark is about to be killed by that guy in the giant robot suit, but again, right before that, Omni-Man comes in and completely destroys the entire army of Flaxons in a few seconds. Which for me personally was very satisfying to see.